There we go. 1,350 pearls obtained. I was really hoping that I wouldn't have to go to the death storage. We're just about to finish. This would be enough to get the entire robe set, which is really nice. Uh, because then I'll get extra natures and chaos runes. Why not? Um, and given that you, you restore energy here anyway, I don't really need the graceful. Um, it's a really nice feature that they have here is when you hand in the energy, you actually get energy back. So you never have to be walking everywhere. Um, obviously, because stams are really inconvenient for me to get. It would be a horrible experience if I had to just walk doing the entire thing. But we've got five more rewards. I'm just going to drop these because I'm going to run out of space. Five more. Well, three more. Two more. And we are going to finish with... I don't even know what the last one was. Mind runes. Okay, there we go. That is uh, the entire reward pool done. We got everything that I wanted. Because I don't really care about the pet. I mean, I'll probably end up getting it when I do 99. No, my luck. Um... But I don't really care too much about the pet. Right now, the main things I wanted were the lantern and the needle. And I got both of them. Uh, the other collection I got is pretty cool. Uh, the necklace is quite cool as well. I need to sort this out. But yeah, the, the, the lantern and the needle were the two big things. And uh, we got both of them. So that's amazing. These are all the runes that we ended up with. Admittedly, I did already have these from doing rune crafting in the first place. But everything else is from this. I'm going to be using up the lore runes and the elemental runes to recharge my ring, which apparently is in the death storage. I didn't even think about that. So we'll have to be going over there anyway. I was hoping I wouldn't have to go there um, to get the ring. Um, and I'll just shove all of them in there. And I'll probably just sell off the rest, get some money. Realistically, I should probably death storage again so I can store the money. Or I could put in a coffer at LMS. I don't know. I haven't, I haven't quite decided yet. Uh, we've got weird items like Dragon Spear... That I, it's, I, I should sell it, but it feels weird. I kind of want to keep it for no reason. Uh, I'll, I'll probably end up selling it. Um, I'm pretty sure I can destroy, destroy this and get it back at any point. I'm hoping. Um, and as for these, these were just, uh, you know, just cool to collect on the way. This was significantly rarer than this. Um, if I look at my log right now, um, this is total, so it's also going to include what I did before, unfortunately. But uh, I didn't have any catalytic talismans before, so I got six during this, which I think is uh, it's it's a bit more than I should have had. But still, we're going to drop these. Don't need them at all. And let's go ahead and buy ourselves the robes. So we'll get the hat, the top. Oh, I am interrupting the collection log. I thought that, that forgot that was a thing. So there we go. We've got the hat, and it should do it again for the top. There we go. That is the top. And we can buy the bottoms. It's a bit slow, so it's a bit anticlimactic. There we go. There's the bottoms. And then we'll buy the boots. And we're left with, of course, 69 pearls. Why would it be any other number? <laughs> Typical. Oh, there we go. We've got ourselves the full set. So now we can get some extra runes while doing this. Just... It doesn't really provide any benefit, really, but like I said, I don't need the graceful, so I'm going to be shoving this in the house, and we've got a whole lot of runes to sell off. Okay, first things first, we are going to dump as many charges as we can into this. Um, I don't know how many it's got. That's pretty much all the lore runes. We now have, how many charges in this? 6,659. Yeah, we're going to cap this out, <laughs> and then I'm going to have to sell the rest of the lore runes when I do 99, but it's totally fine. Uh, the rest of these are probably just going to get dumped. Um, they're not really worth anything anyway. It was the lore runes I mostly cared about, and I've used all of them up. So, the next step now is to sell off everything else. Unfortunately, I don't have access to a shop that sells blood runes, I don't think. I'm not sure about the wieldy one, but I honestly don't want to risk my stuff going to the wieldy just for a little bit of extra GP. So, I will just be dumping these into a general store somewhere. I really don't care all that much. And same with these and these. As for the elemental runes, I'll try and sell them to an actual shop and the death runes, but I'm not going to get much for them anyway. Uh, just might as well sell them wherever I can. All right, I quickly stored the graceful in the house, but I completely forgot about this. Um, I want to go over to Arno and grab ourselves these. Because if I am right, I don't know if I need a tinderbox for this, but can I just add them? I do need a tinderbox. Okay, we'll go grab a tinderbox. That's not that big of a deal. Um, we also still have this hard clue, which is at the Doomsayer, and I do need to go to the Lumbridge Guide to get this sorted out as well. So that's convenient. We'll do both of them in the same place. And I can grab a Tinderbox while I'm there to store the Redwood Logs in this lantern, which is going to be amazing uh, for Guardians of the Rift, because that means I can use pouches, or at least the medium pouch. Um, 
like I said, if I decide to get the Colossal, then that would be really cool as well. Uh, Doomsayers for the Clue Scroll. We'll talk to him real quick. Can we do the next step? Oh, we need to do the uh, Challenge Scroll. I forgot about this. So, 95? There we go. Okay. Yeah, that, that was just really weirdly worded. Um, I think that's because it's Karazi Jungle. I've got to be honest. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. It might not be. But it's probably Karam just somewhere. I, I, oh, wait, I can't do the coordinates because of the uh, wizard. I forgot. It's a hard. So I'm, I'm a complete idiot. I just realized it doesn't matter where it is. I can't do the clue because I'd have to kill the wizard. I, I'm so used to mediums where there isn't one. Uh, no, I can't do this. <laughs> it, it was worth a little bit of a try. I, the, I'd have to kill the, the wizard to do this. So no, that's going on the floor. Eh, we tried anyway. Right, let's go grab ourselves the tinderbox. Um... And we can go ahead and stock up this lantern real quick. Tinderbox, I have no money on me. Uh, one, one second, I'm just going to quickly steal some money from this poor bloke over here. Thank you. And we're going to go and buy ourselves a tinderbox. <laughs> Convenient, there we go. Right, so now we can stock our lantern. That's cool. And there we go, we got redwood logs in our lantern. That's absolutely amazing, I, I love that so much. All right, next thing is we need to talk to the Lumbridge Guide, who is... Honestly, I have no idea where he is. Here? I don't think I've ever spoken to him. Interesting. Anyway, uh, do I take this off and use it to him? Uh, use it Use it to him. English frog. English. Nothing interesting happens. Inspect. Read the note. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. Just use it on him again. I had to read it first. My bad, my bad. Uh, I do have to listen to him, apparently. Alright, so I, I guess we just trade these two. And now we have the Amulet of the Eye, which is pretty cool, because I believe this gives me unlimited teleports to Guardians of the Rift. Which I do have on the, um, the minigame teleports, wherever that is. But this is still nice, because then I don't have to wait for cooldowns. Okay, so unfortunately I don't really have access to a great place to sell these runes, so I'm going to be selling them at Martin Thwaite in uh, the Rogue's Den, but unfortunately, as it is a general store, the price just drops instantly whenever I sell stuff, so... I mean, these don't buy for much anyway. Do I really want to hop every, every 50 runes? This could take a while, but if I sell them at this, I'm only going to get 40 coins. Although I'm pretty sure they'll stay at 40. If I sold more. Yeah, they stay at 40. <sighs> they originally bought for 240. I'd have loved to have sold them for that. But it's just not... <sighs> I don't even think I'm getting the full price for 50 of them. I think I only get it for like 10 of them and then it drops. So I think at this point it might just be worth just dumping them for 40 each. Alright, so unfortunately this is really my best option. Um, I'm sorry if you're watching this and upset by this, but... I mean, these don't sell for much anyway, so I'm just going to dump all the Astrals, Cosmics. Uh, it's the Bloods that are really going to hit me hard. The Bloods, are, they'll give me 40 coins each, which means I'm going to get not even 20k from this. Do you know what? I might, <laughs> I might not actually sell these to the shop. I might just send them over to another account and use it for bomb money. Because getting 40 coins per Blood Rune is, is heartbreaking. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that, actually. I don't care about the Cosmics and the Astrals, because they're pretty worthless. But with these two, I'm, I'm just going to use them for bonds. I didn't realize I was going to get this low amount of money. I thought it was going to be, like, I don't know, near to 100 coins each. But apparently, it's 40. I wish I had the Specialist Shop. In fact, I wish I had Ali Morissane's shop. But unfortunately, we can't do the feud. Uh, there's a bunch of complications around that. Nonetheless, um, I'll be trading these over. Oh, I, uh, I can also sell this. There is a way for me to keep this, apparently, but there's no real reason for me to. So, goodbye, Dragon Spear, and hello, 37k. Sweet. As for the rest of the runes, uh, unfortunately, I'm pretty sure these drop to zero after a while. So, uh, we're not going to get much from these either. I don't know how long I can sell these for, and then they drop to zero, but yeah, they're the zero now. There's generally no point in me even doing it. Um, I probably should just drop all of these. <laughs> They're so worthless. But the death runes, I should be able to get a decent amount for. 
Uh, they start at a buying price of 108. I don't know how much they drop to, but 72. Do they keep dropping? Yep. Um, I might hop around a bit to get some more money because the death runes are going to be the ones that make me the most, I think. I don't think I get much from these. No, they're one. One. This is not worth it, honestly. I'm just going to drop all of these runes. There's absolutely no reason to keep them. Um, selling them is just going to take too much time and not be worth it. So we're going to hop around and we're going to sell off all of these death runes. But apart from that, the rest of these are just going to get rid of with nothing coming back out of them. Well, bond money, but apart from that. Okay, that's going to be the final death rune sold. We ended up with 504,000 coins, which is pretty cool. Um, I've worked it out that I'm probably going to end up with about 32.5 thousand death runes uh, when I do 99. So I have a lot more money and I've been selling 250 per world, which I might reduce to like 100 per world. It'll take longer, but I'll make a nice big chunk of money, which should cover anything I need in the future. Um, yeah, as for the rest of these, I'm just going to be dropping them over to another account. Uh, these ones I couldn't hardly sell for anything. And these I lose too much money on for me to feel like it's worth it. They'd be a lot better as bond money. Um, but yeah, for now, this is what we're looking at. I'm going to clear up this inventory and then we'll crack on. All right, so I sorted the invent out with all of the stuff that we had on us. Um, I'm currently contemplating whether or not I want to try and get the castle pouch. Um, I've looked into the cannon method, and I don't think it's possible, just because you have to put your cannon back down a certain place, and unfortunately with the way the abyss is, there's like little tendrils and stuff all over the place. And it prevents you from putting your cannon down where you would actually want to. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you guys uh, can tell me in the comments that there is actually a way to do this. Albeit by the time you see this video, it probably will be too late to tell me. But I'd still be interested to know. Um, the other method of trying to get the pouches would involve using an alt account. And essentially poisoning the abyssal creature. Hitting a 1 and then letting it die. I don't know if I've mentioned this on video before. I've talked about it on stream loads of times. So I apologise if I've mentioned this before. But they give 25% uh, of the normal XP, so I'd hardly get any XP for doing that one damage. And then I can wait for the poison to kill it, and I will get the drop. However, it is a 1 in 42 chance of getting a pouch. Uh, thankfully, um, I can actually get the small pouch from the Dark Mage in the middle of the Abyss. So I would actually only have to get two pouches, which if it's on drop rate would be 84 kills. Which works out to be about 28 XP in attack, strength, and defense if I get it on the drop rate and use shared with uh, a spear or something like that. Which is what I was planning to do to try and spread the XP a little bit thinner. I could also range to, uh, to spread it even thinner than that. But all in all, this is kind of risky. But if I can get the Colossal Pouch, it really does help me out with Guardians of the Rift. And I'll probably hold on to it for a very long time after that, um, or at least as long as I can. So in case I do Runecraft in the future, I could still use it. So I do really want the pouch, but I'm sort of stuck in this middle point of... Do I really want to risk this? And how much effort it's actually going to be to get the pouch? Because the plan is, is essentially that I will die to the nettles in Edgeville. Um, death pile, obviously, with all my stuff on me. And then I will go into the abyss um, and try and block myself in a corner with another account so that I am not under direct attack. Uh, I should have enough time to lose aggro from the abyssal creatures and then I'll be able to start killing them. Obviously, I'd then have to reset my death pile, so I'd have to do this every single time. Uh, the reason I'm death piling outside, uh, at least for the start, is just because if I death pile outside, and then I go in, I die instantly, and I try it again, I die instantly, I try it again, I die instantly, etc. Um, I can just say, you know what, I give up, I can go get all my stuff from the death pile, and I can move on, I don't have to worry about my items. If, for some reason, I decided to try and take all of my items into the abyss with me, and then this happens, I could end up wiping the entire account, and that is quite scary to think about. Um, it may well happen that after a while... I will feel confident enough to take all the items in. Again, I will have to go through the wieldy as well. So yeah, there's a very slim chance I get attacked given that I'm a level 3, but it is possible. Um, th there's a few ways here where I could risk losing everything, which scares me. However, I will have an hour to set it up. So if I go in, die, go in, die, go in, die again, 
I've got an entire hour of doing this before it matters. Um, and as soon as I get to the point where I can hide in the corner for 10 minutes, I should be able to pick up my stuff freely. The only downside to this is uh, how the Abyss works in terms of when you teleport in. And I really hate this. The Abyss will spawn you in a random spot around the entire circle. And if I die in one spot, I then have to get back to said spot to get my items. And that could be a major issue, especially when I'm going to try and block myself off with an alt. My alt doesn't know where I'm going to be teleported into, so this is going to be incredibly stressful. Um, hence why I'm not entirely sure I want to do it. But I really, really, really want that pouch. So I'm probably going to at least try. Like I said, if I death pile in Edgeville, I can't really lose anything uh, apart from some time. But... It shouldn't be too difficult just to give it a few tries. And if I find out that it's too much effort and it's too difficult, I will just call it quits and we'll just go and do Guardians of the Rift with a medium pouch because we do have the medium pouch already, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, I could also try and get into the center of the abyss because uh, if you don't know, um, if you start the animation to get into the middle of the abyss, it actually nullifies the damage. So if I'm quick enough, I can instantly try and enter the middle. And uh, you can talk to the Dark Mage to get a free small pouch, which I didn't know, by the way. Um, and I've now logged out because uh, I've been sat here talking for too long. Yeah, I didn't know you could do that. So I'd be able to get a small pouch and a medium pouch. Not even sure if it's worth it, but I might be able to do that as well. Anyway, I've clearly rambled for too long because I've now logged out. But I'm going to look into doing that and I will keep you updated on how it goes.